Hey guys, this is Weibo and I have a small request. If you're watching my videos and if you like my videos, then please try to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and hit likes. Uh, it will motivate me and it will make me aware to make more videos. To create uh, this highly uh, knowledgeable video, I have to study a lot and then I have to put all together and create a video. Please like those videos if you found them informative. On this note, let's begin this new video. Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see a VSX traffic flow management. So as you can see on the screen, I have a design talking about the VSX traffic. VSX processes traffic by according to three rules. So we are going to see three important rules now how VSX process the traffic. So number one rule context determination. This is the number one rule or you can say the way helps for the traffic management. So in context determination VSX incorporates VRF. We might be heard about this term called VRF in Cisco world. VRF stands for virtual routing and forwarding. It's a technique which allows to create multiple independent routing domains. What that mean? So the technique which allows this virtual devices consider this is a virtual router this is virtual switch this is virtual system it allows this virtual devices to create multiple independent routing domains what do we mean by routing domains routing domain is nothing but a entire routing for each and every communication which includes all the communication initiated destined source all things so basically this routing domain one routing domain designated for one virtual system or one virtual router you can say so individually in entire virtual uh, entire vsx gateway if you have a multiple virtual routers multiple virtual systems you will be having a multiple routing domain and due to this routing domains this virtual devices can uses overlapping of ip addresses so if you have a limitation in ip addresses and you want to use them multiple times in different ip ranges provided you are using for the internal purposes or you have a separate network which is not overlapping each other in that situation you can use this feature called routing domain to overlapping the IP addresses and this entire context togetherly we call it a context so the name itself is a context so when the traffic arrives at VSX gateway. So whenever the traffic say this is your internet from here when the traffic arrives at your VSX gateway a process known as context determination come into the picture and which helps to direct this traffic to the appropriate virtual system, virtual routers, virtual switch accordingly the way you have done this setup. So consider you have a setup where you having your virtual routers in place, virtual switch in place and there is no virtual router and virtual switch. I mean three different scenarios 
let's consider number one scenario where you have a physical interface connectivity physical interface connectivity you don't have a virtual routers virtual switch in place whenever this packet arrives to this v6 gateway based on the context determination it will send that packet on a physical link to the this virtual systems so whenever a packet arrives from the outside world and the packet will be on the dedicated link and from this virtual gateway virtual system extension v6 gateway the traffic will forward to the virtual systems based on the configuration likewise consider the scenario where you have a virtual router in place so whenever the packet comes from the outside world to the v6 gateway this v6 gateway depending on the context determination it will send that packet to this virtual router and this virtual router will send that packet to the particular virtual systems depending on the source ip destination ip source port destination ports and protocols whatever you have configured based on that it will send to the respective virtual systems and likewise if you have only virtual switch configure so whenever packet come from the outside world to the vsx gateway based on the vsx gateway and the configuration what you have for the virtual systems based on the mac table mac forwarding feature it will forward that packet to the respective destination whether it's uh, uh, this internal network or a virtual systems context determination happens here at the virtual system extension vsx gateway so this is the rule one feature one or you can say a the you know the way number one how the traffic take place next point which vsx uses for the traffic management the second important point is your security enforcement what do you mean by security enforcement as we know each virtual system function as an independent security gateway consider this all virtual systems what you have here this all virtual system individually act as one firewall right and this virtual system can manage whatever the network we have behind them right likewise you can have multiple networks so this is what the feature what we have with the virtual systems so virtual system independently manages all the firewalling traffic so now if we say as each virtual system function as an independent security gateway obviously they maintain its own unique table own state table own security policies and everything to protect their network so we know all what one firewall can do and all those functionality is present here on this virtual systems right so whatever the designation virtual system we have for a particular network that will inspect all the traffic which is hitting to that virtual system no matter where the traffic is forwarding from this virtual router consider for now the traffic is hitting to this virtual system so if the packet comes here the based on the policy and the configuration what we have based on that the packet will allow or a block and based on that it will send to the destination but here the security policy is taking place so all this enforcement is handled by the virtual system and this enforcement is a part of your traffic flow and the traffic management this is the second feature guys now let's talk about the third and important feature which is forwarding to the destination in a traffic management the third feature third rule we call it firewall forwarding traffic to destination what this mean as we all know 
each virtual system maintain its own unique config so in that config you will be having you know a firewall rules you'll be having a routing you'll be having a netting you'll be having a vpns based on that this traffic will be destined to their network what that mean consider this virtual system one is managing say network three consider whenever packet will come from the outside world to the basic gateway basic gateway to the virtual router to the virtual system one here this virtual system one based on the netting routing or whatever the configuration we have here based on that it will forward that to the destination and this feature is nothing but forwarding to the destination and guys based on these three features number one context determination number two security enforcement and number three forwarding to the destination is deal is perform the work of actual performing the traffic management for the vsx gateway i hope this video will be knowledgeable for you and you feel it informative so thanks for watching and have a wonderful day guys